Howdy folks, I thought I'd just show you a little product that I just uh, bought. Uh, just came in the mail. And this is from Axe Music. It's a place out in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. They shipped it to me, so they give me their sticker, business card, one candy. Uh, you get a t-shirt, you've probably seen these before. You just add water to them and it turns into a t-shirt. So this one here is, of course, Axe Music t-shirt. And this is what I bought. Let's get rid of this box. This is a Fender Surge Protector. Now the reason I got this is I have so many amps, as you've seen, uh, and I have so much power flowing through this little studio that uh, every now and then I get a little bit of interference when I'm recording, so I get a buzz or I get a hum. So this baby here is supposed to take the buzz and the hum out of your pedals and your amps because it does all this really cool stuff. So what it says it does is it says it has a surge protection for 1080 joules with three times fireproof MOV. I have no idea what that last portion means. Uh, what else? It's heavy duty metal construction. It's got a 10 foot power cord, 15 amp circuit breaker. Here's the important stuff. EMI and RFI noise attenuation. That's what I was looking for. And it has really nice clamping voltage, uh, 400 volts. And even for spike protection, it's got 72,000 amp spike protection. And it comes with a one year warranty. Uh, if you buy it at your local store, whatnot, it costs about uh, $40. Here you go, and here's what it looks like. Whoa, that's pretty strong. So it's pretty heavy duty. That cable is amazingly thick. Uh, if you're doing any gigging or anything, that's definitely not gonna get busted. This is made out of metal all around. I'll tap something metal on metal. So it looks pretty good. It's got the typical Fender logo and you have a little protection indicator up here for the EMI and the RFI and the surge protection, which is something if you've ever been out gigging with a bunch of other musicians, everybody's sucking power. Plus you got the house lights, the sound system. There is power spikes happening all over the place and your amp is gonna sound strange and you're gonna get buzz and hum. This hopefully will fix that. So uh, I'm just gonna hook it up to an amp and see how it does. So I've connected the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe to it, and I also have a OCD pedal on it, and I also have a huge uh, Jamman delay system. Um, can you hear anything? I hear no buzz. It's as quiet as can be. Here, let me just zoom out. So there's everything that's connected, and there's the amp. It sounds uh, pretty good. Nice and quiet. All right, I got to squeeze in here so you can see me. So I think this is working pretty good. Uh, no sound. The only sound you should hear is from the lapel mic, unfortunately. Uh, I don't have this whole room mic right now, and I don't have the amp mic. So when I play, you're just getting sound through the lapel mic. But it sounds very, very clean. All right, guys. Till next time. And for a bonus, just in case no one's seen one of these t-shirts that comes wrapped in a package before, uh, you can either, either just sit it in water or uh, throw it in your wash machine. Extra large, that's definitely not gonna fit me. All right, so I'll take the plastic off and I'll show you what happens. So get this plastic off and you'll see the t-shirt inside. All right, plastic's off. Get those little pieces, they're gone. There's nothing, just piece of paper. And this is the t-shirt. There is actually writing on it. There'll be a decal, something like this on it. And uh, you see it's like an accordion. It comes apart here. It needs water or something to make it. It's very hard. So what do we do? So we pick this baby up and we throw it in the wash machine. And we try not to get the mic cord stuck in there. All right, that's on. And through the magic of video, when that's done, you're gonna see the t-shirt. All right, time has passed and uh, let's see what we have. So, group this out, get in here. Oh, great, it's right on top. Let's see this thing. So there it goes, came from a little squishy thing. And now we have a t-shirt. Pretty cool, this thing is freaking huge. All right, till next time guys.